yet another day. <laughs> what is up? I was trying to remember if I have to play the intro video first or hit the live button first. So I think I did it right. We'll find out once we uh, watch this uh, later. But anyways, uh, I want to have an, uh, I want to have a uh, like a crowd that like applause. Yeah, the applause for thing? the for the for the uh, production team, which is just Tony, just pressing things. And always making it happen. Thank you. We're making, we're making it happen. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, I'm Tony, and that's... <clears throat> this is T-Pain. I mean, T-Pain, baby. T-Love. You know what? That, that's what we're going to do from now on. We're going to be we're gonna be introduced like different characters. You're like, I'm T-Pain. <laughs> and it always goes with T because you're like, oh, yeah, toilet paper. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I, I've actually decided to just land on one, which is T-Spoon. T-Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> well if you don't know now you know now you know <laughs> now you know anyways we're coming on live this is truth i'm tony and that is tim and we're just tim. gonna have a conversation <laughs> with you guys <laughs> we're just gonna have a conversation with you guys tim i'm literally gonna pass it off to you and have you started off with whatever you want to talk about <clears throat> and however you want to get this rolling brother yeah, well, <clears throat> I feel like I was <clears throat> gonna share something, and God kind of redirected me. But um, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open up with um, with some prayer, and then I'd like to go into this. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. So um, this is for us, but it's really just this yeah. time of prayer is for 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 us all to be connected together. You know, yeah. and God God brings connection, and and Amen. we ask for it. and sometimes we don't ask and we expect and it's like i don't ever want to get caught up in expecting everybody be connected it's like I, I love it when we center our focus in heaven and then heaven gives us downloads amen organically yeah <laughs> amen so god um just as a seed that's that's placed in good soil needs water god I pray that that would be tonight, that those of us who are good seeds and you've planted us in, in good places amount, around good environments, but God, we're, we're waiting for a move of the Holy Spirit in our life and the people around us. God, I pray that, that, you, would, that you would do the watering in us tonight, Father. You would do the watering in us and through us and god i just pray that you would bring a connection and god i ask you to send your angels to protect this conversation that it would be a conversation that brings light and life to everyone who hears it and god i pray that every single person that comes on tonight would know you more clearly in jesus name amen amen yeah and I, you know what i was thinking there when you were praying is is for truly like what without him and without his presence it's just not worth it no it's just not it really isn't man like no bro. there's no there's no other reason than the presence of god to Gosh. be on this earth and, and it, i it, think it, yeah. bro it's us realizing that it's us connecting with that and knowing that once <clears throat> we get that realization we get that revelation we're like wow everything is him and he's in everything it's all about yeah. his presence. It's us about connecting with him yeah. and seeing that in all things. And man, mm. it's like, dude, if we don't have the presence, like, I don't want it. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's what I got from your prayer. It's mm. just like, wow. Thank you, Lord. Just thank you, Lord. Without mm. you, we're nothing. Just thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for these opportunities that you give, like through this video te telecast with Tim and just sharing life together, you know, being real with one another, being live, being us and abiding in you and sharing with others so that we can all grow to the fullness of you, Lord. We just thank mm. you. Just thank you, Lord. So good. Mm. So good. Hmm. Wow. Jesus. 
Well, Ooh. I guess I'll start off with the way that I feel God is leading and, and I hope that you'll follow. Yeah. You know, the, the direction of God's voice and it may not be through me. It may, I might just be saying things and you might be hearing God's voice in a whole nother way, but it's about you hearing God. And that's, that's what's it. most important tonight. Amen. Amen. And, um, you know, I, I feel like where I'm supposed to start is, is this, is that God, God's called us all to be something to ourselves, like to him and to others. And, and he's called us to himself. And, and what's right. so be- what's so beautiful is the fact that, the you know John three sixteen was this verse for me that everybody quoted and it was like you needed to know it and you needed to you needed to understand this verse to be a Christian and it's like there's all these key verses that were taught when we're younger and we're thinking right. okay that that's the verse that's the verse you know and it's like everybody reps that verse and whatever but like I want to read it to you um, from memorization. Yeah, but I want you, I want you to really close your eyes and hear God's voice through this scripture, and 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 see it. What John was trying to communicate to the believers in that okay. day, and right. now what Jesus wants to communicate to you, you know, through Amen. and what the Holy Spirit wants to communicate to you, what the Father wants to communicate to you, and so. John three sixteen says this, God loved the world. So he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Hmm. Jeez, <clears throat> bro. Wow. I just love how it starts for God. So love the world because he loves the world. Why would he love the world? Because he created it Mm -hmm. and everything he is, is good. He saw the world for good, Mm -hmm. but he knew what needed to be done. So he sends his son, right? Because he loves the world. And it's like, he sends his son to be that example for us. So I'm like, and, but then the next key word for me that I see, cause we could focus on eternal life and all that, but it's believing mm-hmm. it's believing whoever, mm-hmm. not this certain race, not this certain color, not whoever believes in him. You're not going to die. You're going to live like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, <sighs> that's, that's what's been coming back. And, and I think, I think we need to, I think we need sanity in the church if we need anything. Hmm. And I think sanity is, is thinking proper, properly about how God is towards us so that we can eliminate what our thoughts are about him. Right. (laughs) Right. Because once we know who he is, we're not trying to calculate, is this God or is this right evil? You or know, trying God to fit is, in, yeah, fitting him into what we think it should yeah. be. Yeah. And it's like, it's so interesting because God tells us not to be in the world, but to be of, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, be, be in of the world, it, but not but in it. it. Yeah, yeah, in it, but not of it. And what's so interesting to me is that God highlighted the world to me this week. Wow. And I wanted to title this um, The Process of Elimination, but God spoke to me and said, "I the title for tonight is Kingdom priority what does it mean to prioritize the kingdom in your life <laughs> that's that that's the question that's you know the question. And, and 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 i'm gonna pass this off here in a second but Very i want to i want to want to go a little bit deeper than naturally i go um and then i want to hear tony and what he what he's hearing god say to him right kingdom priority in my understanding is a or number one god the father god the son god the holy spirit 
if they are not first, then you are exalting something or someone above their name. And I think our culture has spent too much time trying to fit in a time slot for God to exist in their life. And in the kingdom of God, God is everything. Like he's the first, he's the last, he's the beginning, he's the end. That's what scripture tells us. And if he's not all those things to you, if God's presence and God coming to earth living inside of you is not enough for you, then nothing will please you in this world. Hmm. Wow. And so many of us, we grew up in church and we listened to the sermon and we listened to the pastor and we go, but when I go into worship, that's when I experience God. You know what? I've been there. I've done that. But to be real honest with you, what happens when worship music becomes an idol, not right. the pe not music necessarily but what happens when the lyrics that are being written to god or from god don't even talk about god anymore right because that, you, you switch something inside of you where it's more about the performance or the delivery yes. or the whatever yes instead and so, of the king and, and so and so i've heard a lot of people's like we can't idolize worship music you know today we're just going to read the word it's like okay I was really kind of excited to worship God. You know, I've seen pastors do that. We're going to flip the script. And it's like, but I was really excited to like enter together and sing. And so right. singing can be a way that we access God. And I'm not going to say things that you already know over and over and over again. I'm just going to make sure okay. that I make that clear. But like our hearts being poured out before God humbly and in desperation, in need of him in our lives has to be the first thing. And whatever way you access that, it's important that you do that. Yeah. But he has to be the sole reason why you sing, why you perform. If you do perform, if you're a perf an entertainer, you need to entertain what? Not God but you need to entertain the presence. Now hear me out. Yeah. By coming humbly with pure hands and a clean heart before right. the Lord. And then all of a sudden watching him. Wow. Imitate something beautiful. Right. It's probably already happening in heaven. Right. So right. there might be something that's just awesome, whether it's a song or whether you're dancing or whether you're writing, you know, something. Yeah. And like whatever it is, like you're imitating heaven. And so kingdom priority looks like imitating heaven, Absolutely. number one. And number two, then guess what? Once you're so pleased with the kingdom of God manifesting in your life here on earth in your environment guess who's blessed by that number two your family amen the people that are around you are your spiritual or your natural born family hopefully they're both but if not that's okay people that don't believe in god that are your blood family or your relatives are still going to be blessed by the entertainment or by the singing they're, they're right. going to they're going to have a glimpse of God. They may not feel the presence, but they're still going to see that something is good. And that is amazing because God is good. Right. And there's a characteristic of God being shown to them. And they know that it's not you. They right. know that like, wow, like how did he even do that? You know, like a good example of this is like when you sing and the whole room goes silent like of course it was angels singing around you and god's presence shining through you that, that that caused that right and eventually every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that jesus christ is lord amen and so number three guess what happens huh. you're 
you, your family is getting goosebumps or they're just excited, man, because right. something great is coming out of your under, your wisdom and understanding and your projection of the kingdom, your family's ways. And you know what? They, you know, all of a sudden somebody else comes in and you know what? The biggest problem that I've seen in the church, Tony, is mm. that a businessman comes in and wants to sell this concept to the right. church right but what does kingdom business look like number three should be business what does kingdom business look like staying one with the god one with the lord staying closely connected to your family and going out deuteronomy 28 says i will go in with i will go with you in the coming in and the going out what does kingdom business look like hmm. coming into the presence and going right. out and all of a sudden you wow. see heavenly connections and wow. you're able to move your body or say things that the father is saying and yeah. they still may not know God, but they're, they know that something's being done well. So do everything as you're doing it unto the father right. and they will feel, man, that guy is just, Always right. taking care of people. Right. Father. Man, every time he shows up, like people listen. And I've been trying to say the same things and people don't listen to me. Right. Jesus. He's a friend that sticks closer to brother. Holy Spirit. Man, his energy or his vibe is so positive that I get pulled into it every time he comes in the room. Holy Spirit. It all goes back to the Trinity. Back yeah. to the back to the first thing, and so we spend so many times lecturing one another how to prioritize the kingdom or how to prioritize our problems and try to get away from our problems and how to get away from our addictions. Yeah, and we don't spend enough time in the presence, and it's like the presence is what clears our day. It yeah. clears our day of our plans, our hope for becoming something because right. God has already shown himself through our lives by the way that he encounters us with unconditional love. And if we go back to John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes, all we have to do is believe. And when we believe, we receive, and when we receive, he is faithful. Amen. Amen. So good. No, it's it's true. It's true. He he is faithful. And and I I, I, I put it on there in the comments just to show uh the three things that you said, God, family, and business. And as you were speaking, um it just became so clear that nothing's changed since the beginning that's what it's been so it's like as you're speaking i'm seeing adam tending to the garden because that's what god told him to do so yes yeah, sin entered in but they still had to they started working the land that's what they were told to do so like so adam's tending to his wife jesus and he's tending to the garden to the land that was given to them. So just because they sin, it didn't change the priority. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Just, just because sin was there, it did not change the kingdom principle of what needed to take place. Bro, from the beginning. <laughs> That's what I got when you were talking. I was like, whoa, Lord. I didn't. I knew that, but I didn't see it the way you just showed it to me. Like, that's beautiful, bro. Like, Adam and Eve, like, bro, they just wild out. They ate the one thing they were told not to. Yet here they are. God forgives them, closed them. That's how you know he forgives them because he closed them in righteousness. It's a reminder because if they only clothe themselves, they would say, look, we have to take care of ourselves. Kind of like what we do now today. We try to say, oh, I got this. We need the reminder that we're clothed by his righteousness. 
that it's his son, John 3, 16, that did this whole thing. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> we need to be reminded by that righteousness. Wow. And walk in that, that. You know what? Wait a second. I might, I might uh, have sin, be sinning, or going to sin, but I'm clothed in righteousness, his righteousness. Mm. He sees me in a certain way. And I need to start viewing my myself the way wow. he sees me. Jesus. <laughs> wow. And and when that happens, when that alignment happens, then you know the king, the kingdom living will just it, it just it just flows from that place because you just said it from his presence. It's spending time with him in his presence, and it's just gonna flow naturally because there it is, Adam and Eve. Like sin happened and all that, bro. And dude. Like he's still, he's still with God. He knows he's with God. He knows he's clothed by God. He's like, wow, God's going to take care of us. Okay. I need to take care of Eve. Oh, we got to work this land. We got to till the land. We got to do what we need to do, bro. Man. I've got something for you, Tony. Yes, sir. You struck a chord. That chord was the, the chord B. <laughs> it was a B chord. It was a positive chord. I felt that I, I, whew. The all presence right, so is all over it. <laughs> can can, can we go in scripture a little bit, Tony? Yeah, can we go together? Got, yep, let's do it. I got my Bible. Right. God sends a son. He's crucified at that moment when he took back the plans of man. Yeah. The veil was torn and the presence of God was not locked up anymore. Yes. Do you yes. know what our biggest struggle today is? Hmm. We try to lock up the presence of God yep. into something that we can see. If you yep. want to know how things go when man rules the land, and the presence of God is shut off. Right. Look at the Old Testament. Right. Look at the Old Testament. Look how awful things went for people that tried to control the presence of God. Wow. We're going to lock it up in this tent. Okay, guys. Yeah. We're going to lock it up in here. And God was faithful. To like, you know what? If you only want a tent, I'll give you a tent. If you only right. want, like, he is so beautifully invested in us. Hey, if you only want it on Sundays, I'll let you only do it at, at this church on Sundays. That is how beautiful he is. And how gracious he is towards us. Amen. And I'm sitting here thinking, for God loved us. He gave. He gave, he gave. us his presence. He yep. gave us his yes. son. And if we don't receive Jesus as the Messiah of the earth, you know what we're going to receive? Hmm. Mammon. It's it's been proven across all history. What defiles man? It's mammon. It's power. Yeah. It's what do you, what do we see happening around the world right, right now? It's a power game. Yeah. Or it's a money game. For sure. I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to get into politics right now. But my point being, that's for a private conversation. Publicly, yeah. what are we seeing? Country against country. Man against woman. Woman against man. Black against white. White against Mexican. I mean, everything that the enemy could try to do to take us away from what God is doing on the earth, he's trying to attempt. But yeah. what I see is a greater reality and yes. that's what Tony and I are talking about yeah. is that there's a greater reality. There's a light shining in the darkness and that light <laughs> will not be hidden. It will not be hidden. It will be so yes. bright that God's glory will yes. shine. And if it's yes. not, if it's not through your church, I want to tell you 
don't run to another one because the more that you invest your time into understanding that God is omnipresent and he is everywhere, you will then step into the reality of his destiny for your life. And right. until you realize that God is omnipresent, until you realize that, you're going to be looking there and there, and you're like the Samaritan woman looking for something that makes sense. And right yep. now, Matthew 24 says this, that we don't think it weird that all these things are happening in our world, because guess what? It's already been happening. It's just that it's on video now. And, right. and, and, and it's like, even back then, it was like, she was, the Samaritan woman was so concerned about what hill that Jesus worshiped on, and she couldn't even recognize the presence. And yeah. that's the thing is, are we focused on religion? And you know, what denomination are you? Or, hey, are, do you actually claim that Jesus is your savior? Or are you in the, like, what are you into? And it's like, no, you will know each other. You will know his presence by the fruit. Mm. Man. And and I just feel like the fruit of the gospel and the fruit of the kingdom is evident. Is that there's harmony. Yeah. Yeah. There's harmony. And I want to pass this off to you, Tony. I don't know where I'm heading, but I really hope that I hope that something is clicking inside of yeah. you. Yeah. No, it, it is. And it's just this <laughs> it's it's like what you were saying, if <laughs> the power, the money, the, all of that, none of that is kingdom. <laughs> That's why they're after it. <laughs> and because they want to establish their kingdom instead of living for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. and there's only going to be one kingdom standing at the end. Mm -hmm. and that's the kingdom of God and wow. Jesus. And, 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 and the reminder I'm getting Again, for God so loved the world. He loved the world because he created the world. He created us and he created every single one of us with a vision, with a purpose, with a hope and a future. Every single one of us, even from a rape. Wow. Even from any unforeseen circumstance, there was a purpose behind it. You might not know it. We might not understand it. There's a purpose behind it. There, there's some like pretty famous, you know, different people and you know, from the past and even now that they were they didn't have a father or they were left to die or whatever. Yet they became such and such because mm -hmm. they had purpose already. God already yeah. had a plan and a purpose for their life. No matter where, no where, no matter how sin came about, we could mm -hmm. focus on the sin or what what transpired there, or we could focus that you know what. Wait a second. I'm going to stand here, get realigned to who I am. Mm. I'm a child of God. I'm a daughter of the king. I'm a son of the most high. I'm an heir to the kingdom. He mm. loved me and he calls me righteous. And I want to find out more about him. I wow. want to get connected to him. I want to learn more about his kingdom. He birthed everything. He made everything. He, he spoke everything. You know what? I think he wants me to speak the same way he spoke. I think because I'm a child, he wants me to speak just like my dad speaks. I wow. need to speak. I'm not here to convince. I'm here to speak. Hmm. I'm not here to convince anybody to do this, do that. No, I'm here to speak the word of hmm. God because the word of God is truth. And the truth is what sets people free because the truth has a name and his name is Jesus. And it goes back to John 3, 16. And that's what I'm hearing like super loud right now with everything that you said is just like, wow. It's just like, it, it just becomes more and more clear. This revelation of we got to know him. Like, yeah. I want to know him. Like he made all this, like he sent his son for the world. And he's saying anybody that believes, guess what? Eternal, eternal life. Like, wow. Man. And you know what, you know what, Tony, Whew. He's marked. He's marked you, Jesus. And he's marked me, and he's marked others, and, and yeah. Uh, he might. He's might. He might have marked you that are watching. I don't. I don't know where you're at, but. But just because, 
you were abandoned. For, real by... quick, what he said when you said that, because you said he marked you. I don't know who's watching. He marked you. And I don't know where you're at. And I heard he marked everybody if they believe. Mm. That Well, that's it. That's the thing is you believe <laughs> and you receive. And then yeah. you like you're just the, the, like it's like two plus two is four. Like, you know that. Yeah. Like, it's like, you know him, you yes. know that that's what it is. Like, and nobody in the earth right now would try to tell, like, would try to convince you otherwise that right. two plus two is three. It's not, it's not true. And so Jesus is true. Who is more true than Jesus? Who is more true that you can think of than Jesus? Oh, they say the Pope. <laughs> you know what? But it's like, there's always a scandal outside of jesus like there right. is even david there was a scandal you know like even like we need to first of all take ourselves off the pedestal and, and I, I i don't know where i'm heading with this Woo. but tony i want i want it i want I'm to warm it up <laughs> we need to take ourselves off the pedestal of what we think others need from us Yes. When we step off the pedestal, guess what? We're not being judged. That's right. And that's the thing is that God is God is giving clarity and all these things. But if you are be going through a substantial amount of persecution as a pastor or a leader in a church, God is showing you one of three things. The Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit. But Amen. most likely the Son. Because yeah. if you're going through persecution, the sun went through persecution. If you're being enlightened, guess what? Holy Spirit. If you're if you're learning lessons about serving and you're just serving nonstop and nobody's giving you a pat on the back or nobody's right. giving you a high five or nobody's calling you anointed, guess right. what? You're learning the patterns of God the Father, of right. your dad, of your Abba. Right. dads don't need words of affirmation they know who they are and That's so what it. god is telling me yesterday is i'm i'm i get done using the restroom and i'm about ready to walk out yeah. like this and god says do you know why you've been going through hardship wow wow he said no he said i'm showing you what my son went through do you know why the last 90 days you have not seen progression in your career as you were seeing before? Do you know why, son? Hmm. No. We don't look for answers. We look for him, and he speaks what is true. He spoke yeah. what was true. I'm building your character at being a father because yeah. fathers serve fathers love unconditionally fathers do things without expecting Amen. for anything to be given in return right. and so he says no wonder why things have not been going your way in the past four to five months specifically right. the last 90 days because you've right. been going through a greater revelation of Jesus and a greater sure. re revelation of the Father. And that's what I think is so important that our personal life is an example of God through what we go through, not yeah. just what we, not just the good times, but also the bad times. And I think priority right now is knowing God. And it's yeah. always been the same. That's what's and crazy. Nothing has changed Since ever. It's always bro. been about knowing him. That's what I'm getting, man. And and <laughs> that's what I like. It's becoming so like it's just so clear. Like it's it's like we we've known that, but have we really known that to this yeah. revelatory way wow. where wow. we're saying wow. it? Jesus. Wow. Some of you, some of you have jumped out of a lesson because of persecution and because of the lack of reward on earth. And it's time that you go back to the last place locationally that you were to receive the reward that the Lord has for you. Amen. 
and remember what Jesus said when you're wow. in those situations. Take courage, for I have wow. overcome. Wow, wow, wow. Take wow, courage wow. in me, for I have overcome. Yes. That's what we need to go back to him, like you yes. said. And that's that's the that's what we're seeing wow. here from the beginning, going back to him. Because if you spend that time with him and eat from him, he says, I am the bread of life. I am. Wow. I am. I am the bread. I the, the wine. I am the drink, right? And he do this in remembrance of me. Maybe, just maybe. It, wow. Scripture literally says, do this in remembrance of me as often as you eat and drink. We pretty much eat and drink every day, right? Are we putting him on? Are we eating him every day? Are we, are we communing with him every day? Wow. Because I tell you what, I mean, I, 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 I see a gluttony wow. problem in the world. So we're definitely eating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was, I was joking about Mother Teresa yesterday when I was traveling. And I said, it's so funny. She's like trying to stop world hunger and trying to help all, you know, so many people, you know, and, and really like feed India and, and yeah. in many regards. And it's like, but here in America, we don't need a mother, Teresa. We need a wake up call that guess what? We need to stop lusting after food with right. our eyes. Like how many, right. and I, I was joking. Yeah. Um, and I said, how many times have you lusted after food this week? <laughs> Dude. I, How many times that, have you bro. devoured somebody else's meal? Oh yeah. And like it's like it's addiction and 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 it's like eating is great when there's gratefulness and thankfulness, but when you'll do anything to get that bowl of soup like Esau gave up his birthright. You give up your birthright and it, he is asking for us to establish another birth certificate if you gave up your birthright and that is the beauty of jesus is if you have given up your birthright and you have literally traded jesus and his plan and his destiny for your life for a bowl of soup i've got a call for you jesus is wow. merciful god is faithful he's abundant he is provider. He is every mm. single thing that you need. And all it takes is you, the prodigal son, right. coming home and realizing what God has in store for you. Right. And that is the good news is that God has things that are stored up for you. It's not motorcycles. It's not, it's not porn. It's not all these things that you might want and just want to rip on like you might want to rip on a motorcycle it's not things it's wow. not pleasure it's person and person is what it's god family it's Man. god in your position in his family bro and <laughs> absolutely and what i saw when you were talking about that too was was like esau knew his birth he he knew wow, he had the birthright oh. Yet he wow. gave it away because he no longer saw the value of what the birthright represented. Wow. Because he wanted the now. Yeah. And, wow. and I, I'm hearing a word. I feel like you're going to finish it with this word for somebody that's listening. But yeah, <laughs> Jesus, but you're 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 so you're worried about making a decision now at the cost of your birthright. Because you're not singing the kingdom. And God wow. is saying, just be still and wait. Mm. Don't go now. Just wait. Wait for him. Wait for him and wait. Because the same way Esau did not see the value in his birthright, he wanted the now. He went after the now at that moment. Wow. Jesus. The word that I got was you want the now, but reverse now. And it means one, one, you, anybody that prides themselves in winning is the winner and there's nobody else next to them. Right. And God is calling us to a place of patience. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And in patience, the, there's no word one. You don't win. You don't win. You're not the one that wins. 
It's yeah. we win. Yeah. It's we win as a body, and it's not about you. The, it's not about you, the head, or you, the tail, or you, the arm. Or, it's not about you in the picture. It's about the family. And that's Literally. what I think God is calling us back to is an understanding of where – where do you fit in in the family? I don't know if you've seen this cartoon, but I don't even know what it's called. But they're so worried about this guy coming around yeah, that they don't like him. And I don't know the name of the movie. So not even, it's like, I guess it's called Encanto or something. I don't know. But they're like, don't talk about Bruno. Nobody talks about Bruno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to, like, it's Encanto. Like, it's, yeah, it's like that black sheep of the the the, the crew. But it's like, it's so interesting. Hey, you know, we got we to gotta sing the song, though, right now. No. <laughs> Oh my god. We don't talk about Bruno. No, no, yeah, no, oh no. god, Tony. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> that guy, we don't talk about him. He's excluded. He went his own way. He did his own thing. Look at us. We're all the same. We're all good people. Right. And then once they start like there's a girl in the family, the youngest, she starts recognizing we're all pretty different here, actually. Like, why did we exclude him? And I think that's the thing is that, that we're like, okay, the prophets kick them out of the church, yeah. man. They talk too much. They've got, yeah. they feel like yeah. they know it all. They're the know-it-alls. Right. They're the ones that bring in order. Right. But, you know, every once in a while, bringing an evangelist. So the brother-in-law, you know, he can come share. And then right. we've got the teacher, you know, when everybody's like totally lost about the way God manifested the presence. Right. Oh, God, we had no idea how to, you know, the pastor's like, I don't even know. I, I didn't even do it. I did not. I did not release the gold dust. I promise <laughs> you, I did <laughs> not release the gold right. dust. Or, you know what I mean? Or somebody's like, hey, dude, why'd you bring in all these homeless people? Of course, they're going to get healed because they're broken. You know, right. like everybody's got something to say about the way that God is working. And we right. all want to push people out because it doesn't look like us. And right. so here's the, here's what I feel the word for, to, like for somebody right is yeah. your piece of the body yeah. <laughs> is Jesus. important to God. <laughs> Yeah. And when you stop looking where you fit in in the family, yeah. Huh. <laughs> God's family will surround you Amen. and accept you. Amen. Hey. Yeah, dude. Bruno was just misunderstood, man. He was yes. a prophet giving a word, but he only knew in part. He saw what he saw. He said That's what it. he said. It's <laughs> it. It's it. He's, he's giving. And like, it's like it's so interesting because we want the now. We want what's tangible. It's like, you know, the, the prophets in modern day prophets, like it's not some like hocus pocus kind of thing. It's literally yeah. like, man, I see a lot of potential in your life. I see things right. that God wants to do in your life. It's like, dude, come on. That's called encouragement. That's called encouragement. And what does God tell us to do? To equip the body. Yep. To the knowledge of Christ. That's right. Equipping and and that's what's so interesting is that, you know, kingdom priority is to welcome him <clears throat> and his body follows the presence. You know, we just a, attach ourselves. Yeah. There's a few things there that you said. I'm going to go kind of Jesus. from the, the, the most go recent ahead. thing you said and revert back. But you said equip and and it's equipping the saints. And it's yeah. so cool because you might not see yourself as a saint yet, but it says equipping the saints. Yeah, it is who you are. You may wow. not see yourself that way, but it is who you are. And 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 the wow. Lord wants you to see that and capture what He's called you to be as a daughter and a son of the Most High. Wow. And 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 wow, wow, wow. Because everything in the Word of God is about believing. You need to believe what Tim and I are saying to you right now, because it's the truth and that truth will set you free. It'll click. Your mind will be free. Everything will just be different just because you believe his word says so. And Jesus, thank you, father. And then the other thing 
when you were talking about family and we were talking about Bruno and all of that. And um, and I'm trying to see if it comes back to me. But oh yeah, wow, Jesus! What I saw, bro, the the visual or the reminder I got was Jesus on the cross. We were the joy set before him, right? He goes to the cross. He says, it is finished. And what I saw was, because you were talking about, oh, that's what it was, about now and one. Right. The winning was done by Jesus, obviously. He said, mm -hmm. it is finished. But then I saw it pan out to all of us because we were the joy set before him. Yes. We won. He yeah. started it, firstborn of many brethren. As we come to the faith and believe we're part of that winning mm. that he already did. It's done. We're just walking in that fulfillment of him. But yes, we're part yes, of yes. it, bro, as a family. We are part Absolutely. of it. And Absolutely. And now what we need to do is align to him and let him be the joy set before us. Mm. So that we can say what. Mm. So when we go to there and see him, he says, well done, my good and faithful servant. You walk in the it is finished family. Mm. And that's what. Wow. I thought, bro. Praise God. So good. Mm. So good. Thank you, Father. Mm. So good. Oh, God. This is what I have to say. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. God does things to show us what others are going through. Sometimes he'll manifest a pain in my body, and I know somebody's back is hurting and somebody's yeah. shoulder and all that. Yeah. But I was just doing this, and I couldn't find the scripture mm -hmm. that I needed. And God said, that's what many of you are doing. Huh. Many of you are looking for scriptures that look like your life right now. And he's yeah. like, I never asked you to search the scriptures to find who God is. I asked you to welcome me. Yeah. Amen. And God will open up the Bible. I don't, I don't know who this is for specifically, but if God is not opening his word to you, you're not open to him as a person yeah. first <laughs> yeah, and, and, because it's not logic and then revelation it's revelation yes. and then he gives understanding yeah and you're absolutely right and um wow 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 so wisdom good. and understanding it's like he shows us his heart and his he shows himself and then he shares like we want a podcast of God without him present yeah. in today's age. We want to yeah. hear what he has to say, but we don't necessarily want to spend time with him. And right. God's like, no, that's not how this goes. Like, if you want to have a relationship with me, you need to welcome me into your life. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the invitation, not just to salvation, but the invitation to being in the kingdom of God. It's the invitation, yes, to be in the kingdom of God and walk as a living epistle to be read yeah. by all. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. You, we're all living words, the Bible, all of us, because the the breath of God is in all of us. And 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 how are we going to know what to speak if we're not spending time with the Father so that we can spend time with our family? And, 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 and in our businesses and grow them kingdom oriented, the kingdom living mm. way. And it's just like, wow, it's just so, it's so good to me. And, and the other wow. thing you, you, when you said, it reminded me of um, this message I heard, Eric Gilmore shared a, a very good message at Nations Church this past Sunday. And he was like, I'm just going to share it at this service. I felt like it was just for this service. And then I'm doing a different message for the next service. Yeah. Was like, wow, Ooh, I like that, bro. Like, <laughs> he's like, I, I just felt like the Lord said this message is for first service. And I got another message for the second service. I was like, that's awesome. Whole so, nother group of people. Yes. And Whole he got that. group of people. He got that, bro. And I was like, wow. dude, he's eating with the Lord. Wow. Jesus. Bro, you know what his message was to the first service? And, and I'm there. I normally go to the second service. He says, 
I know the ones that are here at this first service were called to be here at this first service mm. for this message because the Lord only wants me to share it at this service. My mm. dad and I are both there. It's about eating with Jesus. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Bro, his message was about dining with Jesus. He said, that's all Jesus wants from us. Will you spend time with him? Will you eat with him? Will you drink with him? And then will you enjoy him in everything that you do? And as, as the message, it, it was just so revelatory to me. And then, and he was showing, sharing so many scriptures that show it, like Jesus is waiting for them to sit and eat with him just throughout scripture. And I'm like, that's what he wants. That's what Mary was listening to him, just waiting at his feet. And then I was thinking about King Solomon, the wisest man on earth, right? What do you have? 700 concubines, 300 wives. So he's got, he, and at the end of it all, he goes, you know what I've realized? What I've realized out of all my life, all this yes. wisdom I've had, yes. eat, drink, and be merry. Yes. And I heard that scripture. Eric didn't share that one, but that's the scripture the Lord was giving me. And I just, it just clicked. And I was like, wow. To eat with Jesus, to drink with Jesus, to enjoy Jesus. Like, that's what life's about. Oh, M-A-R-Y, Mary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be Mary. Mary. That Look at Mary. that. Just like that. Bro. Enjoying isn't that... is Mary. Mary enjoyed. Yes. Her name made sense yes. when she was at Jesus' feet. Right. That was the only place she was content. Yeah. She was involved in this and that in the world, and God took her out. And the, her name only made sense when she was with and in, in walking in the presence of Jesus. Because wow. <laughs> her life was never the same. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, dude. That's, you know, and Bro, that's, 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 I, that's. That's the lessons I've been learning. And so I, I will say that is on point, Tony. That is on point. If we can't just be okay yeah, walking in the blood of God by yeah. drinking and the, eating the, the, you know, with the body of Christ, then we don't need to have a service. We don't need right. to have a church service. We don't need to have a church service to try to get us connected to one another to then eat afterwards. I almost like, yes. I almost feel like if there was a proper way that I'm seeing things, not a religious formula, right. but a proper way, it would be us all eating yes. and then having church after, but not yes. wait, making everybody wait. Bro, I'm be bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, this message hit me like something fierce because, like, I've always known about eat, but it was just like. Uh, That's all he wants, bro. That's all he wants. Like literally, when 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 the heaven reality comes, dude, we're, what's the first thing we're doing is a feast. Wow, bro, he's waiting. He's just patient and loving and just waiting for us to eat with him, to dine with Jesus. Wow, wow. Today, wow. Will we dine with him? Bro. You know what's so funny is he's asked us to walk, right? And the new term in church culture is, man, I seem to find somebody to run with me. You know, so I need somebody to run with me because, you know, I'm right. going this fast. And like, they probably you from know, the scripture, run this race with endurance or something. Yeah. Well, guess what? Paul was single. So there's the ran yeah. the running. Yeah. He was running because yeah. there was persecution and he also... Well, I think the like, key word there, also, the key word but, is endurance. Well, yeah, exactly. But but like in the, in the modern day church, we say like, man, I need to find a woman that's going to run with me. Right. Like I'm, I'm doing this and that and this and that and this and that. And, and Jesus is like, event. Jesus is like, like Hello. hey, right here, man, I'm in your boat. <laughs> I'm in your, I'm in your dorm room. I'm uh, actually in the bathroom with you. Um, I'm there when you sleep. Um, yep. and you're trying to run and you're trying to get somebody to run with you. And yep. it's like, oh my God, bro, walking with Jesus means waiting for him to speak life. 
Bro. And if you are not Good. experiencing the life that God has for you, watch and listen because you're going to find him. And he is so close to you right now. I feel like this is a word for somebody, Tony. <laughs> He's so close to you right now. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro. He is not down the street. He's not on another call. Closer than a brother. He's it's right, right there. there. Right there with you. Man, bro, I, I, this, this, <laughs> this, this probably uh, showcases my age, but um, I just heard the jingle. And this jingle was for us to like when we crossed the street. And it was stop, look, and listen. Stop, look, and listen. Three magic words that can save your life. Bro, that's wow. Jesus. Stop, be still, look, and listen. And it's three magic words that can save your life. No, it, it, it's him. It's him that can save your life, mm. if you believe. And it's like, as you were saying that, I'm just like, man, it's so true. And I'm like... <laughs> It's just so good, man. Like, wow. like that's the invitation, bro. This wow. this kingdom priority wow, wow, is an invitation wow. to go back and dine with Jesus. Wow. To dine with Jesus. And in the family, in the family, he's the firstborn of many brethren. So Jesus is our brother. So he's just waiting to dine with us. Mm. You know, he's just waiting. Wow. For all his brothers and sisters to just dine with him. And like you said, it could happen anywhere. One of my most favorite times to dine with him is in the car. But like, I, I, I really think we can dine with him in all aspects. Yeah. But to be, even be reminded of in scripture, like as much as you eat and drink, remember me. And I, I'm seeing it now as not just remember what I did. But dine with me. Let's talk. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm yes, seeing, bro. Yes. Oh. Wow. Whew, let's talk. Let's wow. talk. I'm alive, you know. Let's talk. <laughs> Jesus. I'm right here, you know. Let's talk. I'm interceding mm. on your behalf from heaven. Let's talk. Wow. Don't you know you're here with me in the heavenlies? Let's talk. Wow. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's talk. Wow. Wow. So good. Thank you, Father. <laughs> He's right here with us. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for such a timely word about the priority of you. <laughs> the priority of you for the audience of one wow that is our love lord the audience of one may our eyes never get off of the audience of one for we started this whole thing and we said this would be pointless without him <laughs> without the one so father god help us to just be refocused to eat and dine and drink with you lord for you for you are alive, just as we're alive, that we can just so sit here and talk with you, Lord. And we just thank you for that. Just thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for that. Gosh. What a beautiful family, wow. man. <laughs> Bro, I'm undone, man. Dang. <laughs> oh, dude. Gosh. Like, I could sit here and, like, the enemy could try to say, yeah, but look what you've done in the past and look what you're doing now. And But it's not about any of that. Like, the no. one fulfilled it all already. Wow. And when I stop and I look at him, I see him. I don't see my mm. past. I see him. And I see that I'm redeemed and I see that I'm forgiven and I see that I'm loved and I see that I'm righteous and I see that I'm whole and I see that I'm pure. Wow. I see that I'm in him. 
and he's in me. Wow. Glory to God. I see that I am part of a huge family. Mm. And that is beautiful to me. <laughs> so good. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Bro. That's, we're eating a lot. That's that's <laughs> a, that's that's enough. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're eating a lot, man. And he oh, and, and we've said this before here on Truth, man. He's inexhaustible. We can have as much as we want of him. Whoever needs to wow. hear that, you can have as much of Jesus wow. as you want. You can have as much of him as you want. He is living water. Ah, oh, he is life and he is life abundant and he has it available for every single one of us. Just believe. <laughs> Bro, just, just believe and breathe. Just Don't believe and breathe. breathe. Yeah. Remember when inhale, they said exhale. Bro, I knew you were going to go there. They, 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 they've done like scholars have said that Yahweh, it's that it's the breath. It's the inhale, exhale. Like when you say Yahweh, it's like a breathing. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yah. Cause his, his, that his name is life. His name is life. The I am bro. The I am is in every single one of us, man. And you're so right, man. We inhale him, we wow. exhale him. Inhale him, exhale him. Wow. So good, bro. <laughs> Dude. So I'm, good. Thank you, Tony, for yeah, I'm, sharing your heart tonight. You're, like, you're welcome. Just. Yeah. No, I thank you, man. You helped that. me to um <laughs> you've helped me to tap into the spirit realm in a way that I haven't been able to before. And uh, I remember the day, <laughs> Jesus, I remember the day when Aaron spoke into me, our friend Aaron Snyder, and he spoke into me. I always spoke encouragement over people, but I didn't speak into them. And Aaron showed me that and taught me that because the Lord gave him the word to share with me. And we stayed up to like three in the morning that day with that word. And ever since then, bro, I just been speaking into people. But then you came along too and taught me how to like receive these downloads. And then wow, don't try to make sense of it, just speak it. And like you, you, you've given me some crazy prophecies that seem like off the wall. Like you're like Bruno. And like you've given me some crazy <laughs> things, man. Like, like Tony, one day you're gonna be out preaching and you're gonna be like, you're not even gonna, you're like they're looking at you and you're just gonna say a couple words. You're gonna say, look up, look at that car. And it's gonna be the weirdest thing, but their life's gonna be transformed because I'm 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 just gonna be obedient. What you were saying is I'm just gonna be obedient to the download, what I'm hearing from heaven, and I'm just gonna say what he's saying. And it's just going to immediately click to heaven and they're going to get exactly what they need. I don't have to overthink it and say, yeah, but that's the ground. Why am I telling him to look at the ground? Why am I telling? I said, dude, Bruno has lost it. <laughs> but bro, so I honor you, man. Thank you for pouring into me and showing me that um, you've lived that and you've definitely poured that into me. And and I feel like when you were just thanking me just now, it's because I was wow. doing that, you know, with, wow. with what I was getting, I was just sharing it out, you know? So what I feel the Lord has been teaching me lately is, is in positional leadership. Yeah. Hmm. I want to say that again, what the Lord has been teaching me in positional leadership okay. is, is that when he has asked you to be a quarterback, it's because you're good at seeing people and tossing the torch and throwing right. throwing the ball to them and not holding on to it. Right. Facilitating the, the game plan of heaven. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not tall enough. I'm not. <laughs> I don't have enough money for the right cleats. I don't. You know what I mean? And that's the thing is like you have fulfilled multiple positions as well. And and that's the thing is that God isn't going to stop doing that through his body. If there's not enough arms in his body, guess what? He's going to take someone that's so lit in his presence Mm. that they don't care what position they have. Exactly. Exactly. It's not going to. Yeah. It's, they're on the team they're in the family it doesn't right. matter right and god's gonna god's gonna do that through you tony not corporately but privately he's going to teach your family who you are i don't know why i'm saying this but i believe it's from the holy spirit Amen. god is going to teach you how to be available and your parents and your siblings are going to see him more clearly than they ever have through you. Amen. Jesus said that. that greater things will happen in the last days. Amen. And I believe the Lord is going to bring hmm. families to himself. Families yeah. to himself. And yes, Jesus wasn't always welcomed in his own home, but but here's the good news: is that he said greater things are going to happen, and we can't get stuck on Job, and we can't get stuck on what Jesus had to go through and say, "Well, I, I'm never going to get out of this." No, right? Gr- greater is He that's in me than He that's in the world, and also all the scriptures that come to your mind about what God's going to do. Those are the things that God is going to like help you cling on to in this next phase. And God's going to show you that he isn't done. It is finished. He isn't done. Amen. 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 And that's the next phase. I think he's shown you that it is finished, but I really feel that it is, it isn't done phase is yeah. going to blow your mind. <laughs> I believe Your mind it. is going to be blown. Yeah. You know, wow. it's, it, it's, <laughs> I, wow. I see that because the thing I see is like, it is finished. It is finished. Hey, you know what? We got somebody that just jumped on Tim. I'm going to share the comment so we could read it here. Um, Sal Daka. I am servant of God. Please pray for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he just jumped on, so I'm just awesome. We'll pray for you. We, yeah, we will pray. God bless my brother, and you only know where he's at. You only know what's going on in his life. You're yes. the only one that knows what's going on. He needs he needs you, and he needs brothers. And so, God, I pray that you will send brothers that will surround him, and that Father, you will send sisters, and you will send help and relief to his family in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, Lord, may may he see you. Father God, may he see you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> may he see you. Just keep saying that over over you. May may you see him. Because a lot of times when we ask for a prayer, our eyes are on the cir- situation or the circumstance. <laughs> Jesus. May he see you, Lord, in whatever he's going through. May he see you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Wow. 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 Don't know what's going on there. I just know it's intense. I I have this intense feeling. Uh, DACA, I believe that's how you pronounce your name. We will continue to be interceding on your behalf. I'm being reminded that the Lord is interceding on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So, but keep seeing him. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on the truth. Not somebody else's truth. He's the truth. (laughs) Wow. And I heard, I heard this, that 
Thank the you, Lord is not looking past you. People might be. People might be looking past the Lord and what God is doing in your life, but that doesn't mean that he's looking past you and he's not sent. Amen. You know, it's interesting you just said that. So I'm going to step out in faith yeah. and know why that that was. Earlier, a few, just before he got on, I kept getting Zacchaeus and climbing up the tree. He wanted to be seen. He want wow. <laughs> so, uh, Doc, <laughs> Doc, I, I believe that's for you. I, I don't know. It, it'll relate to you in whatever way it needs to relate. But I saw it. And the thing that a lot of times people forget about that, that scripture is Zacchaeus was short in stature. Yes, but he climbed the tree because he wanted to see Jesus. Right. And we were just talking about seeing Jesus for you to keep your eyes on him. But the whole cool thing about that story, about that testimony, because that's what it is, is that the Lord had that tree there for him. Because the Lord knew that day would come. You know? And the, and, what, and the Lord had that tree there for him to climb. And what did he say? He said, I'm coming to your house. So we believe that that's the word for you, is that Jesus is coming to your house right now. Amen. You he's see not how? prolonging. He's not prolonging. He's coming to your house right now. He's coming to your house right now. He's near. He's not far away. He's not waiting on you to do the right thing. He's not waiting for the right prayer, the right saying. He's coming to your house right now. Wow. He's actually already knocking on your heart. Jesus. He's already knocking on your heart. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> the Lord just told me this. There's no rehearsal in kingdom. Wow. No rehearsal. Wow. No rehearsal. There's no rehearsal, you know, because you can't rehearse what the Father wants to say. You can't rehearse that. No. He's living that. He's living that. <laughs> It's like if he says something, he says it. And like Praise if nobody God. heard it, then you say it. Like, you didn't hear what the father said. That's what prophecy and word of knowledge and word of all the. You wow. Didn't, you didn't, like God is in the room. He's right here. Yeah. He says something and everybody's talking. And guess what? You are right next to him. You heard him. That's why right. we what have to you... stay close to him. You heard what he said. And then everybody's like, oh, man, no, 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 no. Oh, God. God's here. Yeah. And he's Bro. been talking. He's been saying things for for eternity. He's been saying things. And you know what? We're not even in the latter part. We're not even in heaven yet. But he's been saying things yes. all the time. And uh, and then guess what? Well, dude, let him say it. Okay. Yeah. God, say what you need to say. Yeah. And 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 even to the point where, like you said, he's speaking, right? He's yeah. and and in and scripture we read I'm trying to remember who it was that Whoa. said it here i am here i am lord <laughs> here i am cuz we're listening we're listening to the still small voice wow. because we're spending time in his with him therefore we have the presence of god and we hear him and we know he's speaking and we're like here i am lord what is it what do you want me to do mm. what do you want me to say like he's he, you know, calling you out. Here I am. Wow. 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 May our responses wow. be here I am. Wow. Here I and am. And you know what? God is God is in the now. But we don't demand that he acts. Correct. God acts. As the father sees our father acts and he does as he pleases because he knows what's best for all of humanity, but we don't demand that he acts in the now he has already shown us what to do. He's already like, we've already had, have it written Teaching what us. we're to do. Like we, he, there's instruction here. Follow He's it. Teaching us through that moment. <laughs> you, you said it earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 so good because he's always wow. there. He's yes. always there. So yes. yesterday, today, and forever, it's all the same. 
it's us tapping into it and, and learning, okay, what am I, what am I supposed to learn here through that? Wow. And it, the, the, the part, the part where we get, like you said, it, you know, we get thrown off is we're trying to follow somebody else's truth or we're trying to find follow somebody else's plan. And it's like, no, that's not, wow. it's him. It's, we always got to go back yeah. to him. It's always yeah. got to align with him because it's always, even if you're not hearing anything and you're not, you got to make sure wow. whatever you're doing, it lines with him. If it lines with truth, the truth, which is God, which is Jesus, if it lines with with Holy Spirit, and if it's aligned to that, then just move forward with that. But wow. but, but there's lessons to be learned. Like you said, we're, we're being taught. And sometimes we might not get it right away. It might take a few times. And we're like, oh, that's why. Like, like you were sharing your testimony earlier with what the Lord was doing the last 90 days with with uh, God, family, and business for you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> but, wow. It's a, new, it's a new era. And a new era brings about a new vision, which brings about a new mission, which brings about a new perception, which brings about basically everything. Like, And yeah. that, that's the thing is there's a new beginning happening right now in our world among believers. Yes. Yes. Yep. Among believers. Right. If and the, in the last 20 years of ministry doesn't add up to what ministry looks like right now. Yeah. Nothing adds up to the way God is wanting to take this ship right now. Yes. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't add up. Right. You know, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. It's like we can't take the former glory of God and attach it to a glory that God is wanting to reveal through his sons right now. And that's right. what I just really feel. If there's anything else, I feel like I, I need to go back into meditating more in his presence. I think that's the lesson that I've learned tonight is to not come expecting for everything to make sense. Right. Just but dining. For, with me. But just dining. I think that's what I've learned personally. Yeah. 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 Same. Just, that's why I had to share it. I knew I had to share it. And uh, yeah, I feel like I learned that. I feel yeah, like dude. I, that's something that's really ministered to me. How about you? Is it what, what's kind of highlighted for you tonight in this video before um, we head out and do our own thing you know with yeah. the families but like what's something that was highlighted to you yeah i believe um wow <laughs> I, I i i was saying it earlier about the revelatory like meaning with what you were saying about just coming back to him like the priority of him because everything has to flow through him he's the creator mm -hmm. and he's truth and and it's like, man, everything, and 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 I, I believe it goes hand in hand with what we've just been saying now with the dining, because I, that was the word I got on Sunday. I was just like, it just hit me, and I was like, wow, like it just, I was like, wow, I want to, I, Lord, I want to, I forsaken you at the dinner table, uh, you know, like I don't want to do that, like you gotta I want, I want to invite you in every time, like man so you know a booty call can do that yeah that's tr that's true i mean i i mean i love god and and but sometimes like our own our own desire our own desire can pull us away and like yeah we were faithful to show up but did I we do show that. out i do did that we, did we hang out you know it's like something that's pleasing pulls us away from a dinner table that's that's the conviction of the Holy Spirit that's, yeah, to come man. back to the table. Yeah, and that's oh. yeah, dude. That's where I'm at, man. I'm like, dang. I'm like, man, Lord, I need to eat with you more. And eating with Him more is the presence of God. Wow. You wow. know what I'm saying? When Moses yeah. was there with the burning bush, that was the that was the presence of God. He his hair color wow. changed. He had a glow about him. <laughs> he was dining with the Lord right there, bro, in the presence. And so, yeah, like that's, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm seeing. And, and just the wow. significance of that for kingdom living. And, you know, and I believe 
Um, and I believe that was the other thing that Eric was saying. I'm kind of being reminded of it. I'm just going to share it in my own words is that in these latter days, we're going to need to spend time at the dinner table with him. Bro, the things that are going to be coming, the deceptions that are out there right now, the even the preaching that's happening right now, it's not of God. And it's twisted and it's deception and it's it's going to lead sheep away, bro. And you see it. And the only way to fight that is by being by with the teacher. Yeah. And with the presence. You gotta be of with God. the teacher. You gotta be with the teacher, man. He's the one, man. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Like he's Teach the teacher. Me, you know, we have to come to the Lord in reverence, but we have to come to him with a with a humble heart too. Is like I'm not just here to learn. I'm here. I'm here to receive yeah. any way that you have for me. And like learning, we think like is all in the mind, but it's also our bodies need to learn. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and our, our, like we need our entire being to learn who God is, not just our minds trying to wrap it all up. Right. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. No, that's, Wow. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the renewed mind. But and, and and again, that goes back to the born again of the spirit. So like it all has to be like wow. you said, we're been born again of the spirit. So wow, you know, like sometimes we just get too focused on the flesh and what we can see yes. instead of tap into the unseen and the spirit life that's that's what we are. You know, like I'm I'm reminded of that. It's like, yes, we're a flesh being, but we're spirit. So if the flesh side is true, the spirit side is true. How much greater is that spirit side? You see what I'm saying? So we need to tap in with the wow. teacher. We need to tap in with the spirit. And we really just need to get our eyes on him and just dine with him. And when I think of dining, too, that's the other thing. Like you said, with reverence. But have fun with him, man. When we right. all gather around the table and we're having our hot dogs and hamburgers or whatever, like, dude, we have our feast. We enjoy each other's yeah. company, man. There, be merry, enjoy him. Well, and that's that's enjoy where him. I was getting at is like the reverence comes when he's speaking. Yeah, and then the being merry and enjoying is when he's just watching us. Like he's yeah. just enjo he's enjoying. You know, because we're taking like, him at his word. Exactly, and like, we're applying yeah, it and we're doing it. Like when they take my word this is what they look this is amazing. like like, like look at all my full yeah look at yeah. all my true kids out there all my true he's kids are walking silent. around he's like yeah bro yeah 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's like yeah one more thing from daka let's see what he said yeah. father gave his son our son sins he's his dead uh yes we died. Yes. Our sins have died. Absolutely, brother. Um, well, I know Tony, you got to go too, bro. I got to run. My son just opened the door. Yep, so that's, you're good. The, that's the exit. But that's thank the exit. you for your time. And, yep. and uh, you know, for to you, Tony, and to yep. anybody that's that's on here. And I just feel like, you know, no. God's moved again. And family. Family. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, let's That's go. it. That's the cue. Yeah, bro. On that note, we're out. Love you, bro. Okay. Love yep. you guys. Have a good one. Love you, Hartley. Bye. Later, Bye. man. Yep. All right, guys. That was it. Uh, Daka or Duka? I think it's Daka. Um, thank you so much for joining us and being on. We appreciate it. Just uh, follow us on Facebook um, or YouTube. You'll see it there. It's truth. But um, this way, you know, when we come on, we come on every uh, Monday night, uh, our time over here, anywhere between 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time here um, on the Eastern time zone in Florida. But anyways, God bless you. We'll continue to lift you up in prayer and hope to see you again next time, brother. God bless. Thank you for joining us.